<laughs> All right, you boys take those supplies that away. When you're done, we move the rubble on the west side. Huh? Crying out loud. Damn it. Shit. All right. Whoa. So, where should I put this? Right! Put it up against the wall over there! Listen up, everyone! Long as we work together, we can turn this place around! Doesn't matter if you're a watchman or a convict! We can do this together! We can make Eden better than it ever was! Yeah! Right. <laughs> Ain't that right, Kisana? Citizens of Eden, it is time for this city to change. We have protected the blessings of Sphere City by building walls and limiting the population. We maintained order by turning away those in need, so that only a select few could live in bliss. This, however, was not the path of justice. In a perfect city, the strong must safeguard the weak, Society can only rise as high as its lowest members. From this day forth, the gifts of Eden are no longer a treasure to be protected, but to be shared. Therefore, today I declare that Eden's gates shall be open to all! Whoa, really? We will open our gates, release any prisoners, and welcome all newcomers with open arms. Wouldn't that be inviting the Holy Imperial Army and the Army of Ruin? That is a danger we cannot ignore. But if we all work together, we can protect each other and live without fear. Eden is going to become greater than ever, by the hands of its own people! <laughs> Kisana is shaping up to be a remarkable leader. Yeah. This world needs a hero brave enough to make their ideals a reality. You're right. By the way, Ken, did you hold someone at the casino at gunpoint last night? What are you talking about? I thought as much. See? Recently, a man with seven scars was spotted causing trouble around town. What? He wore a black helmet and packed one hell of a punch. According to Jagre, the Watchmen are on the hunt. If his power came from Hokuto Shinken... Right. It's the man who kidnapped Irie. Could it be? Ken, do you know who he is? Yes, I do. A man I used to call my brother. Brother? One of the other Hokuto Shinken disciples? His name is Jaggi. A few years ago, he tried to kill me, rather than see me named successor. I fought him off, shattering his skull in the process. I haven't seen him since, so I took him for dead. I see. That helmet must be to hide his head injuries. Yeah. 
If Jaggy actually is the man who abducted Irie, I won't rest until I finish what you started. Please, will you help me find him? Of course. As the successor of Hokuto Shinken, it's on me to clean up the mess I made. Watch it. Hold up. When does the match start? Oh, no, crap. That's not right. How? That's... <sighs> you. Wonder who's gonna win today. You wanna die for us? Come at me if you want to die. <laughs> what? <laughs>
Welcome, Mr. Kenshiro. I'm looking for a seven-scarred man wearing a helmet. Ah, the rowdy gentleman. I'd hope not to revisit those uncomfortable memories. You see, at first I mistook him for you, what with all the scars. But he started getting aggressive when he realized that losing was inevitable, so I had a word with him. He suddenly grew quite jolly when he realized I had mistaken him for you. He sounded nothing like you, of course. <laughs> I realized something was off and asked him politely to leave. With that, he pulled out a shotgun and bellowed, Say my name one more time. At that point, there was no turning back. He seemed quite baffled when I answered, Mr. Kinshiro, Savior of Eden. He stated, pardon my crudeness, that you must be hot shit round these parts, and left, laughing all the way. Why do you think Jaggy came to the city? It doesn't make sense. I don't know either. We need more info. Right. Excuse me, sir? Can you tell us anything else? Not much, I'm afraid. Though he did later cause a scene at the bar. I hear they're open in the evenings. All right. Thanks. Strike! 
me if you want to die. Die! 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 Die!
Good. Huh? Hmm. Take out the trash.
Pronto! Hordebreaker strike! Pronto! Hundred Fist Rush! You're already dead. You've got what? three seconds left.
Oh, it's you. I'm looking for the man with seven scars. The helmeted one. And that fellow caused quite a scene. What happened? He kidnapped one of my employees. That's a scene? And the other night he came in, didn't even order a drink. He just sat there staring at the other guests. He kept mumbling to himself. Things like, them ears look like my little bros, and those hands look like his. Little bro, huh? We got hit with a big rush, so a server asked him to order something or leave. He rose, glaring. You could cut the tension with a knife. Eventually, he noted that they were the same height, and burst out laughing. Then, he suddenly stopped laughing and stabbed my employee with nothing but his hand. His hand? Yes, with uncanny speed. Poor boy couldn't do a thing. And what happened next? He said, I'm gonna borrow this guy, and dragged him off. If he wanted to kill him, he could have done so right then and there. I reported the incident to the watch. I see. What do you make of that, Ken? Kidnapping someone his own height? I just don't get it. Well, the barkeep said he filed a report with the Watch. Maybe they'll know something we don't. Yeah. Let's check the barracks.
If you want to die. <laughs> Sub Ken, let me guess. That's right. Any leads? We tracked down some victims, but not the man himself. There's a search party out looking for him now. Has he done anything besides kidnapping people? <laughs> sure has. Roughing up shopkeepers and tearing through the streets on his motorcycle is just the beginning. In just a few days' time, he's killed ten guys and abducted three. So just men? No women? Nope. None except for Ray's sister. Other than her, it's been all dudes. It's bad enough he's got flunkies running around. What kind of people did he murder? One guy died trying to save his pal from being abducted. The rest were just rando punks who picked the wrong fight. Either way, we've got no idea what his endgame is. Haven't been this dumb since Ken rolled into town. Whoa, man. Nothing personal. Any leads that can point us in the right direction? <sighs> Afraid not. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to check the jail? Under the Coliseum? What for? One of the punks who survived got thrown in there. He might have a clue about this helmet-wearing asshole. He escaped the bloodbath and ran up begging the watch for protection. Must have been scared shitless, some punk. Let's go. Watch huh? it! If you want to die. <laughs> 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 
This here's our punk. Yo, tell us everything you know about that helmet guy. Give us something useful, and we'll give you some jerky. <laughs> well, ain't this the five-star treatment? If I knew you were so hospitable, I would have turned myself in ages ago. Start talking, or it's no deal. Shit, my bad. Listen, something big is going down tonight. Tonight. You heard me. He was muttering about all the pieces being in place, and how they were gonna move at nightfall. Pieces? I assumed he was talking about a heist, so I figured I'd join in on the fun. I offered to help, and he asked if I heard what he'd said. Pretty sure you know the rest. It was a friggin' bloodbath. I don't know how. But the rest of my gang just started blowing up. It was like a bad trip, but without the drugs. Ken. That's Hokuto Shinken, all right. It has to be Jaggy. Sounds like we'll be working the graveyard shift. I trust you fellas are gonna hit the streets too? Yeah, that's the plan. Make sure you're all set before the shit hits the fan. We still don't know what this guy's planning. Right. Welcome.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ow. Thirsty. What was it again? Huh? What? Whoa, that's amazing. Come over here. No need to rush, Kenshiro. Huh? What was that for? Hold up! No need to rush, Ken. Huh? Hey, watch it. Hold up! No need to rush, Kenshiro. Whoa! What was that for? Hold up! I hope the fighting is in this today or tomorrow. Wonder who's gonna win today. Wonder who's gonna win battles today? They will live to see tomorrow! Oh, yeah, I can no need to rush, Kenshiro. Whoa! I'm so okay. choice.
Need to rush, Ken. Hey, watch it. Are you ready? Ow!
like you really piss me off. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Guess we have no choice. I'll kill you myself. You're beyond words. <laughs> To rush, Ken. We have no choice.
How long do you plan to stand there? Whoa, I'm healed. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Whoa! What was that for? Hold up! Now! I'll take a quick break. Oh, there! Car. What? It's high time I got Sound. out! Guess we have no choice. You're beyond words now. Jaggy. Ken, which one is Jaggy? No idea. Even you can't tell, huh? No, but he's got to be in this group. The other three are probably the people he kidnapped. That's why he targeted men with similar builds. But why aren't they moving? Is Jaggy blackmailing them? No. 
He hit a pressure point. They can't sp Regardless, we can't just rush in and attack. What do we do, Ken? I'm going to ask you all some questions. Motion with a circle for yes. Or X for no. What are you getting at? The citizens of Eden are honest people. Jaggy's a liar. If we catch one in a lie, we catch Jaggy. I see. Stay calm, everyone. Answer honestly and you'll be fine. Okay, Ken. Just say the word. Ken, you ready? Yeah. Let's begin. What is your first question? Do you have any older brothers? Next question. Did you cause a scene at the... Starting to narrow it down? Next question. Is the man to your left a citizen of Eden? Think you're getting close? Next question, then. Is the person to your left the real Jaggy? One more ought to do it. What are you going to ask? Do you have a little brother? Well, Ken? Figured it out? Yeah. Good. So, which one is it? It's... Have you figured out which Jaggy is real? Yeah. Really? Just watch. Stand up and face me, Jaggy. You're all safe. I released your pressure points. Run while you still can. <laughs> you want me? Here I am! That's right. How did you two like the show, huh? <laughs> so you're the bastard who kidnapped my sister, aren't you, Jaggy? Damn straight. That is the great Jaggy to you! Long time no see, Kenshiro! Jaggy, why did you come to this city? What are you, stupid? I'm here to end your goddamn life! I've been waiting for this day for years! Every time the injuries you gave me start throbbing, the voices in my head tell me to fucking kill you! Then the least I can do is shut them up. Say goodbye. Hold on, Ken. 
Let me handle this. I need to send him to hell myself. <laughs> You dumb shits! You've already fallen into my trap! Can't you see? What does that mean? <laughs> Look behind you! No! Iri! Ray! Targa! Ray of Nato Sweet Choken! Bet you didn't expect your sis to get nabbed by the same guy twice! Why are you two working together? <laughs> he and I have some mutual interests. For starters, we'd both love to see you dead. Jaggy will get his revenge, and I'll take control of Eden. I met this guy at the bar! And we really hit it off. He just gets me, you know? God damn, if only I had a little bro like him! A real meat cute. Imagine my surprise when I learned he's your elder brother. Now I'm all hooked up with a match made in heaven. Fortune really does favor me. I told Targa about my plan, and what do you know? He was totally down. Poor Ray. Can't lay a finger on me while your cute little sister's over here. Am I right? You sick freak! Come on! What's the holdup? Aren't you gonna send me to hell? Go ahead. I'm right here. Then again, I'd hate to see your sister get hurt, wouldn't you? You monster! You're not even human! Ray! <laughs> I pressed your Shintanshu pressure point! You can't move a damn muscle unless I say you can! <clears throat> As hilarious as this is, we probably should move along. This isn't exactly inconspicuous, Jaggy. Yeah, I hear ya. Just like we planned, right? <laughs> Listen close, Kenshiro. Their lives are in our hands. If you want to save them, come to the Coliseum. Alone! There, I'll prove I should have been chosen, once and for all. Settle your affairs. <laughs> Damn it. Three seconds left. 
Okay, right this way. <laughs> Good to see ya, Kenshiro. Real nice of you just to show up so I can kill ya. Shaggy. Where are Ray and Irie? <laughs> Don't worry, they're not dead yet. Ray. Irie! <laughs> the show is about to begin! And these two, front row seats. <sighs> so, my friend, let's get this party started. I'm looking forward to a fantastic show. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I ever did without you. Okay, listen up. You stay right there, and you better not move, or I'll make them slice up your pals. Taking hostages now? Don't you have any pride in your own two fists? Fuck off! I don't need no martial arts. I just gotta win. As long as I can do that, doesn't matter how the hell I do it. Get it? There's no way. No way in hell that I'd lose to my kid brother! I'll prove it right here, right now. I'll prove it once and for all. 
No kid can ever beat their big brother. <laughs> Come on, bitch, say my name. I am Hokuto Shinken's true successor, the Great Yagi! moves. You ain't the Kenshiro I know. What is this? What happened to you? I have stained my hands with the blood of many great men. With every worthy opponent, I have found strength. Shit! I'm not gonna take this! Hey, Targa! Time to kill Ray! The shit? What happened up there, guys? The work of Kyo. Meito Kieken. Nadai. But then that would mean. Damn it! Okay. You wanna play rough? Well, I'm done fucking around! I'll kill you with my bare hands! If I'd known it would have come to this, I'd never have shown you mercy back then. That was a mistake. I will not make again. Shut the fuck up! I'll show you how a true master uses hope to Shinken! <laughs> Hokuto! 
Hundred Fist Rush! Yeah. Kenshiro, how is he so... <laughs> it's over, Jaggy. Hold it, Ken! What? What the... But I hit the right pressure point and everything. Where the fuck did you go? <laughs> I told you. I promised you that I would be the one to send you to hell. Targa! Targa! I need your help now! I think not. Why would I bother wasting effort on a lost cause like you? How could I be your brother when I'm not even your friend? It's a shame about our plans. Guess you're just unlucky. <laughs> so much for your new brother. Looks like you've been abandoned. <laughs> this isn't happening. There is no Motherfuckers! <laughs> Guess your luck has finally run out, buddy!
I've already been briefed on what transpired here. In the past, criminals have been made to fight, and the verdict was determined in battle. But Eden is changing. As ruler of this city, I, Kisana, will judge you by the new laws of Eden. Soldiers of Kyo'o's army of ruin. You were accomplices to Jaggi's abduction of Airi. For your crimes, the death penalty would be a mercy. However, I am going to suspend your sentence. Return to Kyo'o and tell him this. Eden will never bend the knee. Nor will we withdraw our hand extended in peace. What? Are you serious, Kasana? <laughs> it's my lucky day after all. Fuck you! Lucky had nothing to do with it! It's Kisana you better be thinking! It's alright, Jagre. I don't know about this! If you want the power of Sphere City, let us work toward peaceful coexistence rather than seizing it by force. As the ruler of Eden, that is my solemn wish. Looks like we're done here. I can finally move on. You heading out? Yeah. Jaggy will never tear apart another family. I'm taking Irie and we're going home. I see. Thanks for all your help. I hope our paths cross again. Likewise. you've grown. <laughs>